Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I am going to be teaching you how to play carom shots. Uh, now, if you don't know what a carom shot is, it is when you hit, like, I'm trying to explain this. It's when you either hit a ball off another ball and it goes in, like what I just demonstrated, or if you hit the cue ball off another ball and it hits another ball and that ball goes in. So caroms are usually played in nine ball, just they're not very common in eight ball. Uh, and they're usually played with a ball close to the pocket. It's so like if you wanted to play the three ball, but since if you had like an angle like this on the three ball, if you shot the three ball regularly, let's say we want to shoot the eight ball next. If we shot the three ball regularly into that pocket, our cue ball would like naturally head away from that eight. So a better shot here would to play the carom is pretty like straightforward. We're just gonna hit the three ball off this left side of that uh, nine. Sorry, I can't talk today. And should naturally go into the pocket and we can hold for this eight ball and then eight, nine and we're done. So caroms are usually played like that. The nine ball can be away from the rail as well. Just pretty much any angle, we can just send that three into the pocket. Now the way we judge these is to find pretty much we know tangent lines. That's how a ball comes off of another ball. I'll make a video on tangent lines. It's usually at a 90 degree angle. Uh, so we know if we hit pretty much anywhere on this left side of this nine with center ball that we are going to pocket the three into the corner. It's the same as if we were playing with our cue ball and doing cue ball control, like moving the cue ball around the table with spin. We know if we hit off a ball like that, we're going to scratch. So we can just use that theory to our advantage and hit the three ball off the nine and send it into the pocket. Instead of sending the cue ball off the nine into the pocket and scratching, we can just quote unquote scratch with the three ball. And that also, in this case, gives us position on the eight. So that is when caroms are usually used, usually used in nine ball. Uh, so I'm gonna show you some very common carom shots and how to do them. They are pretty basic but they're the ones that come up a lot and they usually come up in nine ball because if you make the nine ball early with contacting the lowest number ball first, you can win. There is such thing as a carom combination where the three ball can like hit off the eight and make the nine and you win. So we're gonna run through a couple of shots like that. Okay, so let's say we have our eight ball like that. Nine ball is over that pocket and we have a shot on the three like this. And let's just say our regular three nine combination is blocked by that seven. So the three cannot go through to the nine. We're playing nine ball, so we have to contact the three ball first, but the three can't go straight into the nine because of that blocker seven. So we know, uh, as in my video earlier today, that when you shoot a spot shot, there's always a spot shot with a ball on the spot. Uh, when the ball heads towards this direction, the other ball is going to split and head towards that direction. So we know there's a high chance of scratching if we replace this three ball with the eight. See, let's just do that real quick. See how that ball just naturally goes over there. Um, and we pocketed the nine. So if, if we can just send the three into that contact point again, that nine is going to go right into the pocket. So just find that contact point that like replace the three with the cue ball in your mind and just find the point where you need to hit the three to send it into that angle on the eight. Uh, probably play this with just a little bit of backspin, just kind of hold the cue ball on that side of the table. And this is also a good two-way shot because if you miss the nine, three ball can go two rails up behind the seven, but you're also leaving the three near the nine if you shoot it soft. Uh, so instead of like trying to play that soft safety behind the seven, I would just shoot it pretty hard 
So if you miss it, your three ball will go pretty much everywhere and you don't leave the three by the nine. So here is the shot, three ball off the eight ball, pocketing the nine into the corner. Okay, so another very common carom. This is a cue ball carom. Let's just say we have to hit our three ball first. Our regular contact line to the three is blocked by the seven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the cue ball into this rail. And we know if our cue ball is like in this direction, if we hit off that left side of the three, we're automatically going over there to make that nine. So we're just gonna find that contact point on the rail that sends us into that point on the three. So this is one of the most common carom shots. Uh, this was also played by Efren Reyes. Uh, I don't know if you saw that in one of my videos. I don't think that video is as popular as my other ones. Uh, but he hit cue ball off the rail, hit the three ball, and went down to make the 10 and won the game. So it obviously is used in tournaments. Uh, if Efren Reyes uses it a good amount of times, it's always used in Russian pool if you play Russian pool. It's used in straight pool if you play straight pool. Uh, so this is just a very common shot that is really helpful to know. And here it is. Okay, so now we're going to move to a harder carom shot. Uh, let's just say that we have a ball on that rail. And we have a ball like that, and our cue ball is like that. So we're in this situation. Let's say we are playing, well, let's just say we want to try to make the nine. So to make that realistic, let's just switch these two around. Uh, let's say we need to hit the seven first. We're not confident in our shot on the seven. Uh, I guess we could try to like cross bank, make the nine but that's, that's just as low percentage, and that doesn't really get us as safe as this shot would. So this shot right here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the cue ball into the 7. 7 is going to play off the rail, off of the 8, over here and make the 9. So this is not a high percentage shot, obviously, and little pros would shoot it. Shane Van Boning has shot it uh, several times, actually. This is one of his preferred shots, and it's one of his most famous shots. So I figured I'd just teach it to you just for fun. Uh, but if you miss this ball, I always like to shoot these shots hard. Because if you shoot it too soft and your seven ball ends up here, your opponent will just go seven nine combo for the win. But if you miss it, if you miss it like into this rail or into this rail, the seven ball is gonna go like two rails that way or three rails out this way and your cue ball will stay on this side of the table and your opponent will not be able to make the nine in one shot. So it's always good to think about what's going to happen to the balls you're hitting uh, and before you actually shoot it because you never want to rely on just hoping that things work out. So obviously this is a low percentage shot uh, but it can be safe. Just find the contact point from the rail to the eight that you need to make the nine. Now this shot can also be used uh, without that nine ball there. You can just send the ball you're hitting straight into the pocket. Uh, it's a little more difficult because you don't have like that leniency. You can't hit here or here. You have to kind of go straight into the pocket. Uh, but it's pretty much the same exact shot. Just people tend to hit this eight ball too full. If your seven ball goes way over here, you're hitting too full. If your seven ball hits over here, you're hitting too thin. Uh, so just try to find your correct point, and I'm just going to do that next shot now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post again, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That will just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Uh, if you're wondering what cue I shoot with, this is a Miyuchi White Crusher. Uh, that's spelled M-E-U-C-C-I, as you see on my table. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.